Good morning, Year Two. How are you? I hope you're ready for another maths lesson today. Let's have a look at your flashback four. Here's your flashback four for today. Pause it to answer the questions. So I hope you can see that the potatoes weigh 10 kilograms. Of course, you need to look at the unit of measurement here to be able to answer that accurately. Of course, there are 150 minutes and two and a half hours. It is 10 to five on the clock. And double eight subtract three is 13. Now, like I said, today we're going to be thinking about measuring temperature using a thermometer. So the things that I want you to think about are what can you see in this picture? What is Eve holding in her hand? What do you think degree C stands for? And what does it measure? How can you work out where Eve lives? And how can you work out where is three degrees C warmer than Aberdeen? What operation would you use? Pause the video now and give it a go. So today we're looking at temperature and to be successful you need to know that temperature is how hot or cold something is. And you need to also know that we in England we measure it in degrees C. In other countries, for example in America, they measure it in degrees Fahrenheit and that's a different scale. But in England we use degrees Celsius. You also know that a thermometer is something that you measure uh, temperature with. So if you've ever been poorly and had a bit of a fever and you've had something either stuck under your tongue, under your armpit, on your forehead, that's measuring what your body temperature is to see whether you're poorly or not. And you should know that it uses a scale. Okay, just like here, just like all the other units of measurement that we've done so far. And you need to be able to read that scale. So Felix here, just like I've said, is saying that degree C stands for degrees Celsius, but you can just say degrees. So Astrid is saying that he will count on from 10 degrees because he knows that that's 10. One thing that one step that he has missed out on is figuring out what the jumps are. However, I'm going to make an educated guess that it's going to be one. So let's try it. Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So yeah, those little lines there all represent one. So one more than ten is eleven. So that's eleven degrees C. Then, oh sorry, that's Dexter. Then here, Astrid is saying that the warmer the temperature, the higher the number I will count on. So it's 9 degrees C in Aberdeen and it's 3 degrees warmer where Marta lives. So 9 and 3 is 12. So Marta lives in Edinburgh. Now time for your think together. So just like I said before, you need to figure out the scale. Now it's the exact same scale as before. So each line represents one and I hope that helps you work them out. If I was thinking about 20, I wouldn't need to count from zero because I already know that this is 20 and I can use my knowledge of each of those lines being one more to figure out what that one is. Question two says, where do these people live? So you're going to have to use a little bit of addition and subtraction to figure this information out. Pause the video now and give it a go. And here is your challenge. After you've worked out this question, I'd like you to think about, can you have a look at the weather forecast? And can you explore how the temperature changes in this country? BBC Weather has a really good app and you can see what the temperature is gonna be every hour. So you could explore what the temperature is like in the middle of the night compared to what it's like in the middle of the day. What do you notice? If you Google temperature for the whole year, you might be able to see what the temperature is like in this country in winter compared to what it's like in the summer. You might, if you come from a different country, you might be able to do that with your home country. Some countries have really big variations in temperature. Other countries don't. 
but it's really important to be able to read temperature to know simple things like what should I wear for the day should I wear a coat or should I not wear a coat do I need to put sun cream on pause the video now and have a go at doing that here are your answers Now it's time to move on to your practice book. You'll be starting on measuring temperature using a thermometer, page 111. Pause the video now and give it a go. True or false, the temperature is 35 degrees C. Of course it's true. The thermometer is going up by five each interval. Now, can you order these things from coldest to warmest? Pause the video now and give it a go. And here are your answers. Well done, you've worked really hard. Tomorrow will be your final lesson with myself and maths for year two. I'm so proud of how hard you've worked and you deserve a good rest this afternoon. I hope you have a lovely rest of the day and I'll see you again soon.